Tacoma dangerous warning message and first oil change. What did the dealership tell me? Morning, everybody how are you today pretty good here and I'm gonna go over this Tacoma dangerous warning message that I got and my first oil change at the dealership just real quick I had a message pop up on my screen stating that the charging system was not working when I looked in the manual it told me pull over immediately and contact the dealer uh, it could be dangerous well, that's a pretty daunting message, right? So it got me thinking, is it really dangerous? I don't know. So I took the truck in today and had the oil changed and of course brought that up as well. First of all, we're gonna take a look at the truck and see how they did on the oil change. I'm particularly interested underneath at that little panel that comes off on my TRD skid plate. Did they actually take that off properly? Did they put it back on properly? And is there any oil into there? Also under the hood. So let's pop the hood take a look see uh if there's anything strange looking under there i don't think there will be but if i can find it there we go but you never know so let's take a look obviously there's no air filter change or anything like that because i'm running the s and b cold air intake over there of course now what did they do under here first of all let's make sure that the engine cover is still on properly it is there's really no reason for them to have taken that off, so no issue there. Again, I didn't have them change the air filter because it's aftermarket. They couldn't change it anyway. Uh, looking under here, I'm looking for fingerprints and stuff, right? Here's the TRD oil cap. Uh, still warm from me driving at home. It is on there tight. Still upside down, as you can see. Doesn't look like they touched my wireless controller at all because the antenna move easily and they are just like they were before. Now, let's take a quick look and see if there's any oil anywhere down here, like if they spilled any. I can't imagine they would have. Looking down below, down there, uh, I'm not seeing any evidence of any issues or problems, so nothing weird there. Battery still looks the same. We'll get to the uh, charging system warning here in just a minute. But everything looks good on top. So let's, uh, let's take a peek underneath. I am going to bring a little rag with me just in case uh, there's any oil. And obviously the first place to look will be on the floor. You can see it dripping right there. Uh, that's the condensation from the air conditioning unit. Now, best way to find the panel, I think, actually, might be to start at the front. <laughs> I was actually at the tire. I think I might be able to see a little better if I actually go at it from here. Yeah. They shouldn't have taken my skid plate off, so I don't see any reason why that would be uh, any concern. Might be a little dark down here. I don't know. Okay, here's the uh, cover see if I can get some light on it they should have removed this cover uh, to access the filter I believe so there we go I don't see any evidence of oil or anything around this thing so that's good I think if they would have splashed oil all over the place it would be dripping uh, probably in this area right along here and I don't feel anything so that's good uh, they were careful in taking these bolts out or screws because they didn't mar up my finish too much there's a couple chips but that might actually just be from driving around so I don't see any real issues there either uh, so no problems under here kudos to them it would appear they did a mighty fine job the bolts uh, look to be tight to me they're all the way put in so good for them no issues under here 
Now, one more thing that I want to check, and you should always check this when somebody else changes your oil, I think, and that is the oil level on the dipstick. So, let's go ahead, pull the dipstick, and take a look and see uh, what we've got. This thing's like eight feet long. Okay, taking a look at it just sitting in my garage. Uh, looks to be just a tad over full, a tad. Um, that could be oil splashed on it. It is clean, uh, by the way, uh, nice and clear. So I do know they changed the oil. Let's uh, put the stick back in, check it. Again, want to make sure that the level is right. It wants to fight me going back in. So let's turn it. Maybe I've got it in in a way it doesn't like to go in. Yeah, I did. It's particular. I don't know. So, got it back down in there. Doesn't take long for oil to get on the stick, right? Let's check it. Okay. Let's take a look here. Looks like it is right about at the full mark, and it's hard to show you guys on camera, but the full mark is right here this little divot and it might be just slightly above that not a big deal I'm not concerned with that in the least looks good looks like they gave me the allotted amount of oil so that makes me happy makes my engine happy too and that's even more important always good to have a, a happy engine right nope, put it in wrong again you ever notice that when you go to put the dipstick back in it kinda has the way it wants to go and that's all it really wants to do, right? So it looks good to me. It looks like a successful oil change. Let's pull the paperwork, um, show you guys what they actually did, and then we're going to get to that, uh, the resolution, I guess, of the Tacoma Dangerous Warning Light, or Dangerous Warning Message. Okay, let's go through the paperwork, take a look at what they actually did. This is the receipt from the dealership. It is the Toyota Care 10K Synthetic. Um, looks like uh, Toyota Care 10K Synthetic Rotation and MPV, Multi-Point Vehicle Inspection. Perform the Toyota Care 10K Synthetic Mobile One Oil. Perform Toyota Care 10K Synthetic. Uh, pricing on this would have been, looks like, $52.50. Um, let's go on. They did the inspection. Um... They put it under a claim. You can see right here the Toyota Care claim. Uh, moving on down. Anything else? No, that's about it. So it looks like uh, 5250 um, apparently for the labor. I'm guessing that is time and not money, but I don't know. Uh, so I'm guessing that's time. An hour, or just short of an hour. So let's go over here to the multi-point inspection. What do they look at? Uh, horn operation. I'm guessing they didn't do my train horn. Uh, headlights were good. Windshield wiper and washer operation. Windshield glass. Fuel tank. Uh, let's see. Fuel tank cap gasket. Dome light. Cabin air filter. They would have seen my uh, blue lights inside the, the, uh, the cabin and the little air freshener I have on the air filter too. Parking brake operation. Check for proper installation of driver floor mats. You know, that was a big thing for Toyota, right? Uh, air filter, that of course is aftermarket. Battery condition. Uh, battery state of health, that's good. So they checked the battery. Cooling system, hoses, drive belts, radiator core, air conditioning condenser if equipped. Um, on arrival, windshield washer was okay. Coolant was okay. Power steering okay. Brake reservoir okay. Clutch reservoir is good. Transmission transfer case, differential transfer case. All of that was good. Propeller drive shaft damage leaks U joints. Okay. Drive CV shaft damage leaks. Nothing. Axle hub and bearing damage. Nothing. No noise. Steering linkage is okay. Suspension is okay. Fluid leaks. None. Uh, exhaust system damage. I guess they didn't mark that I cut the end of the tip off, but that's okay. Fuel lines and connections, okay. Um, nothing on here that requires any attention. 
we go to the tires, we have 36 PSI. That's what I'm running in the tires, so that's no big deal. Spare, not checked or adjusted. Don't know why. Maybe they couldn't figure out how to get it down. Nothing's really changed there except it's just bigger. Tread is okay. They've got that at left, front, 11, uh, 32, 11, 30 seconds. Right front, 11, 30 seconds. Left front, or left rear rather, uh, 11, 30 seconds. And right rear, 11, 30 seconds. So all good there. Tire damage, none. Rims, wheels, and lug nuts, they really didn't check that, but that's okay. Tire rotated, no. We did not rotate the tires. I did not want that done. Brake lining is good. Now, they're showing the measurements, 12 across the board. That's 12 millimeters. Uh, front and rear disc brakes, uh, all of that looks good. They give you a little chart there. Brake lines are good. Disc drums are good. No comments, nothing. So, everything was good, we have no issues, and that's how I would have expected it to be, to be honest. I mean, the truck is basically brand new, has less than 4,000 miles on it. I actually thought it had more miles on it, but it does not. So, now, one thing a lot of people have uh, expressed their opinion on is the Toyota Care, and that if I didn't have at least 10,000 miles on my truck, I would have to pay for it. That is not true. Um, it goes based on miles or time. You know, I've had this truck a year, so they didn't have any problem, didn't question me about changing the oil in it because it's been over a year. So there's the little caveat for you. Uh, if you've got 3,000 miles on your truck and it's less than a year, yeah, they're probably gonna wanna charge you for it. However, if it's over a year and you've got less than 10,000 miles, they should do it. Now, let's talk about that Tacoma dangerous warning message. You know, I got this message maybe a week ago or so. This is what actually prompted me to take it in and have the oil change done and have this checked too. Um, I mentioned it to the guy as soon as I walked up and he knew exactly what I was talking about. Uh, and he said, yeah, that's normal. He said, when you turn the, the truck on, that light comes on. It's just telling you that you're in accessory mode and the system is going through a check, he said, and not charging. No problems. Now, that's what a lot of people on the channel had told me. The only time that it would be an issue is if you're driving down the road, the truck's running, and that message pops up. Then you have a charging system problem. So, that should put that to rest. The charging system in my Tacoma is perfectly fine. I'm not draining anything. I don't have any vampire draws or anything like that on the truck from the accessories I've put in. Battery tested good as well. So that's the resolution. That's the end of the story. Leave a comment. Let me know if your oil change went as smoothly as mine did. I'm pretty happy and pretty satisfied with it. Kudos to Burt Ogden Toyota. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I do have one other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check it out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.